So I'm saving six hours a week going the new way. And guess this is the piece that's just insane. So all that effort for 32 hours, I got 153. The new way, I'm getting 5,000 prospects. Yo, high ticket ascenders. What's up, family? Sales ascenders, how you guys doing? Hope you're well today. Sean Malone coming back at you with another 10 minute high ticket tune-up. I got off to a great start. I had a nice warm cup of coffee. Thank you to my lovely wife, Monster. That's her nickname. Everyone calls her Monster, but her real name is Melissa. And secondly, I also had a chance to eat an air fried chocolate banana muffin. If you've never had an air fryer, I totally encourage you to go grab one because air fryers will change your life. Um, amazing. Anyway, uh, today's question was a doozy and I'm ready to throw it up. Here it is. Yesterday, I got a question from Connor and he said, uh, hey, Sean, what if I'm not the biggest social media user? How much of my business should I be focused on getting from social media versus traditional methods I'm still using? And during the conversation, I asked him, I said, Connor, tell me a little bit more about um, what you're currently doing now and how that's working. And as we dove into this conversation, what he was telling me was he's like, okay, so I do really kind of three things. He says he drops in, um, he does, uh, he does like, so drop in. So like if he's serving a client and he's driving down the road and he stops at another building and he goes and he drops in like that and he, and he, he starts a conversation that way, super cold uh, way to prospect. And so then he said that was his first way. Then the second way that he shared, he said that um, he does uh, cold calling from like manufacturers, rep guides or lists that he gets. Uh, from either his company or he purchases online. And then the last piece uh, he said was that he gets about one referral a month. So I said, okay, that's great. Let's do some easy marketing math. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm gonna do some easy marketing math for you so you can kind of understand um, if we took those inputs based on what Connor said and, and like literally what's the comparison of the traditional way that most sales professionals do things versus what's the new way um, of using the internet, using social media to actually really leverage what you can do. And so uh, I just took some numbers that that we've experienced from being online for the past five years um, and versus like what he's experiencing and what I used to experience myself too. The answer is simply 80-20, right? It's always a Pareto thing. So 80% of your time or 80% of your prospecting efforts should be, I believe, on social where 20% you should still continue to do traditional methods. It's an and strategy. That's the answer. So let's dive in. I'm going to do a quick screen share here. Give me just one second. I'll pull this up. You guys can probably, let me just triple check. You can see my calendar there. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, and check it out. I'm actually going to move Yoda uh, just up to the top of the screen. Give me two seconds. There he is. Wham, up there. Um, so he's hanging out with us today too. Love little Yoda. Um, so let's get back into the document here. Again, the question is, Sean, what if I'm not the biggest social media user? How much of my business should I be focused on social from traditional methods I'm using? And again, the answer is 80% social, this should be rough, gosh, where's the percentage? Um, social and then 20% traditional is what I'll call it, right? It's for easy math. So let's go through this. Um, that is your answer there, uh, as I mentioned in the comments, but here's some conservative sales ratios. Let's just say, for example, you got a 5% appointment setup rate and you had a 30% close rate and you can work out the math of what that's going to equate to dollars in your bank account at the end of this. So traditionally without using social media, like when I first started or when I had this conversation yesterday with Connor, um, he said to me, uh, these were the stats that came through. He said, you know, drop-ins, I usually can get about two per hour because uh, that's his average. And usually he does it twice a week. So if he's getting two, uh, two deals or finding two opportunities, two new prospects every hour, and he's doing that twice a week, right? So then that's two per hour. So it's two, four. Uh, so that's four hours per week times two is eight prospects that he's collecting um, just from this, okay? Now, he said he's also doing cold calling here, which is 15 uh, prospects. Here we go. So prospects per hour. And he's usually doing that twice a week for two hours. So literally like he's getting 30 prospects a day um, or 30 prospects every time he does this cold outreach. So it's about 60 
um, that he's collecting, right? So, um, yeah, I guess my numbers are a little bit off here. Anyway, okay. So, uh, two per week for two hours, that's four hours per week, and he can get, so let's just pull up a calculator here. So, what's four times 15 is the total of four times 15. So that's 60. Just want to see if I've got my math right. So, okay. So I got my math a little bit wrong. We'll just fix it on the fly. So it's 60 prospects uh, per month or uh, per week is roughly what he's coming up with here. And then this one is two per hour times four. So this is going to be eight prospects per week. Right. So now we've got eight and 60. So you have 68 prospects per week. So let's just rework the math. So 68. And then he's getting one more referral per month as well. So if he's getting 68 per week, then that's 68 times four weeks, which is 272. Um, so here we go. We'll just uh, we'll just change this. So um, I'll make some totals. OK, so total prospects per month. He's getting 272 prospects per month from this activity. And this activity is getting one per month from this activity. So the answer here is actually 273 prospects per month is from a cold outreach standpoint. That's really good, right? So most people don't even get close to this number. He's doing really well. Um, so this is traditional without social media. So he's literally going to be spending about 32 hours per month because that's four hours per week for this four hours per week for that. And then this just comes and it's going to create a couple hours of work. I left it out for easy math. So that's um, four and eight. So eight hours per week, 16 hours, a half a month, 32 hours every single month. And for that 32 hour investment of time, he's coming out with 273 prospects. Now let's compare this method, the traditional method to the online social media inbound strategy. Okay. So with social media, there's two sides of the coin. Got to remember this. There's an inbound strategy and there's an outbound strategy. So what, it, what does inbound mean? That means you're doing a webinar or you're posting comments or you're doing some other things that you're leaving value for people where they get a taste of what you are, how you talk, what you say, and understanding if you're intelligent, if you've gotten the results that people are looking to get, you can build credibility and trust. And so um, like I'm doing right now with this Q&A session, just to answer this and show you the difference, because when I can show somebody this difference and they say, Sean, that's smart. I like it. I want more. They're going to come my way. Right. So so 30 minutes per week is I'm just doing answering Q&A. How is that broken down? So three times a week, I do a 10 minute high ticket tune up. That's 30 minutes per week. That's where this number comes from. OK. And I'm just answering Q&A. So like as I'm going through my prospecting and my client work and all the other stuff that we're when we're running our masterminds, we're actually currently running two different masterminds. We do high ticket client work on the side. That's what pays us full time. But again, I love and I stand up for sales pros. That's why I'm here telling you about this stuff. Um, so running average of just doing these thir this 30 minute block, it's, it's three different 10 minute segments. Just from doing that every single week, I'm seeing about five new prospects raise their hand saying, Sean, I'm interested. So five prospects per week, that's 20 new prospects per month, just from a 30 minute investment of my time. And that just takes my time and my knowledge that I've been acquired from the past. Um, these guys have seen me, they've gotten value. And again, like I said, they're swimming now towards me. Secondly, you've got outbound. So I just shared inbound is where you're putting out value and people are being attracted to what you're saying and they come towards you or you're doing a webinar or you're doing some sort of a JV deal or something like that. Then there's the outbound. In outbound, there's really kind of two buckets. One bucket is called social prospecting or rifle hunting. You're going and looking for the exact person that you're trying to serve, the exact person, the minimum viable um, person that you can actually help with a transformation. So finding a person on social, striking a conversation through social media, becoming friends through a social platform. This is a, what we call the outbound social prospecting method. I spend about one hour a day doing that. Okay. And I do that roughly four days a week. I do it usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. I don't. And so that's four hours of my time every single week. And literally within that one hour of me doing that, Facebook limits me to only reaching out to 30 people because they don't want anybody to be spamming, right? So that's fine. So 30 prospects in a single day only takes an hour of my time. So that's 120 prospects per week because 30 times five is 120. Um, is that right? I totally messed this up. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, because I'm only doing four days. There we go. That's why. So four days per week, sorry about that, times 30 is 120 prospects per week, which equals 480 prospects per month. Okay. 
So that's this one. Now, the automated play, this is an and strategy. This is the second piece of this thing. This is where it gets ridiculously bonkers. 30 minutes a day. So in addition to this hour, another 30 minutes of my day, four times a week, I spend literally loading um, emails using our software technology and the stacking that we've built and, and proven the process works. We've, we've copied or modeled some of this stuff from people like Aaron Ross from, he wrote a book called Predictable Income um, that he built the salesforce.com model, right? So um, learned his model, applied it to our world. This is the result, 30 minutes a day, four times a week. So that's two hours total of my time that I'm spending every single week. Every day I can grab about 250 prospects. Yes, fresh, new, right in my target, exactly who I want using software to leverage my time. That's a thousand prospects per week or 4,000 a month. So just these two methods, again, 4,480 plus the other 20. So we're at 5,000 prospects. So I can actually change this. This is a 5,000 prospect number here. So check these totals out. Traditionally, this is option one. I'd be spending 32 hours a month. This is where Connor was, right? And for that out, for that 32 hours, he was seeing 153 prospects in person. This doesn't include the amount of gas he's putting in his car, the time he's driving across, the haggle with you know with what's going on in the economy today, um, and in the slow measures of, of what's happening and the results that he's getting. Now, if we look at the new way, which is using social media and um, internet to leverage things with software, guess what? That time we've taken now, I've just literally saved myself an additional six hours per month. Six hours per month. You could drive from here. I could drive from Las Vegas halfway to Colorado. I could get to the beach. I could do a lot of things. I could go snowboarding. I could go riding my bike in that six hours. There's a lot of things in that six hours that I could do. So I'm saving six hours a week going the new way. And guess this is the piece that's just insane. So all that effort for 32 hours, I got 153. The new way, I'm getting 5,000 prospects. And these are prospects that are not only, it's not cold as much as long anymore. Rather, it's I've reached out to them. I've added value in their life. I've connected with them in an email, invited them into my world, into my backyard. Um, and now I continue warming up and then eventually make deals close deals and help people have the transformation. And that's the key, right? So that's the whole thing that I wanted to talk about today because I think it's so valuable for everyone to remember this is this idea of like, you can take somebody from only having 153 prospecting opportunities a month to 5,000. What's that worth to you? If we go back and look at those close ratios, 5% booking rate on 5,000, let's just do the math. So it's 5,000 times 0.05. That means you could probably book around 250 appointments out of those 250. Let's say you close 30%. That's 75 deals you could possibly make in a month versus if you have 5,000 prospects times 0.05. Oh, sorry. That's the other side. Um, if you only have 153 prospects, so there's 153 prospects times the 0.05 appointment rate, you're getting seven appointments a month. And that's 7.65 times 0.30% closing. That means you're closing about 2.2 deals a month. Now, if you use social prospecting, the way that we're talking about here, literally it's 5,000. So there's 5,000 prospects times the 0.05%. That means 250 appointments times the 0.3 close ratio, 75 deals. So now you just got to ask yourself, if I close two deals versus 75 deals in a month, like what's your income like? What's your bank account like? What's the lifestyle that you can create? How many months do you have to just go do this? Like that's where it gets really, really powerful is being able to leverage technology, working less time, getting in front of more people with your message so that you could actually help them have a transformation in the thing that you sell. This is why everybody should be using social media um, when it comes to prospecting. And even if you're not good, like what, what Connor said to me, he said, Hey, Sean, like, I'm not really active on social. I'm not the best at this. Like, how do I even get there? What do I do? That's why we have our program. We actually went through this whole problem ourselves and we created this, this, uh, our, our mastermind, our sales ascension mastermind, uh, for sales ascenders. It's like a, so we can have help people make this transformation and going from, Hey, I'm getting two deals a month. I'd love to see how I could get 70 or even half of that 30. Right. Um, and that's, that's the difference. And so we're seeing people come through our program and just have mass success. So if you're interested, let me know, write a comment below. 
that's not what this call is for. This call is literally just to inform you that like, if you're not using social media to prospect, you should be.